Hey, it's time for another video collection update, and this time we are talking about my Blu-rays from the Asylum. Yes, those makers of cheese and schlock and ripoffs. I've got a few of them. So, let's go over everything I have as of the end of 2015 in Blu-ray format. I do have a lot of DVDs from them as well, but that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking just Blu-rays. Now, first up is a release that was covered, you know, in my Echo Bridge Blu-ray collection update because it's technically from both, and that is Mega Shark vs. Giant Octopus. This is an Echo Bridge um, distributed, the you know, the Asylum film. Um, so I figured I'd start with that one and move on. Next up, we've got Dragon Crusaders. Now they don't do tend to do a lot of fantasy films, but there are a few of them out there, so it's always great to pick them up. Sometimes they're okay, sometimes they are not, but, you know. You don't know until you actually watch them. I'm trying to make it so that they don't all fall. I got a few of them here. Something that the Asylum is super known for is disaster films. So, Super Cyclone. Yes. And it's funny, if, if you follow the Asylum... Um, from, you know, their beginnings to now, you can clearly see uh, the progression of special effects. Next up is Nazis at the Center of the Earth. Um, you know, uh, earlier films had fewer things, and, and as they build up every movie, they sort of, you know, make a new CG effect or something like that, and then you will see, essentially, those... Um, animated portions you know obviously they can manipulate them in the in the computer as they see fit but first you got to create them right and and as you go along in the films you see more and more so maybe even when they'll design a helicopter um, and they'll use it and they'll fly through and then you know three or four movies later they'll have that helicopter but they'll use it more extensively and they'll have maybe five of them and then another ten movies later they have whole fleets of helicopters going on <laughs> it's just something, something like that where they take the original CG model that they created and you know improve on it and obviously give it more angles and such that they can use not just what they needed for the original film so yeah it's pretty cool next up is some sci-fi um, network films that the Asylum put together this is a three pack with Two Headed Shark 2010 Moby Dick and Mega Shark versus Crocosaurus I love those versus films, right? Like they are, they are pretty much the uh, the go-to films when it comes to this stuff. Um, next up is, I believe, the sequel. So it'd be part two of Transmorphers, and this is Transmorphers: Fall of Man. You know, Transformers is essentially what they're they were banking on there. Next, we've got. Well, if you can't figure this one out, 2012. Ice Age. Yeah. I think the name says it all as to which movie they were trying to, you know, jump onto there. Next up, something you don't see often, that's Alien Origin. Now, horror is something that I think they should do more of, but they tend to... Um, well, I mean, I guess their their biggest draw is those those disaster films, but you know what? They did do 100 Ghost Street, The Return of Richard Speck, which yeah, isn't that great, but I still think they should do more of them. Next up, action. Action is something that uh, they tend to steer away from, actually, and we got Three Musketeers. I don't know if I want them to do too much more in terms of action, but eh, it is what it is. Next up, Yes, you know what to the <laughs> clear ripoff Battle of Los Angeles. Next up is actually not too bad. Uh, it stars Danny Bonaducci, and that's Bigfoot. Had to create a whole new monster with Bigfoot for that one, so. Yeah, you remember. Um, yeah, well, you know the movie. Abraham Lincoln versus zombies. 
not not what the original one. This is zombies. Next up, we've got <laughs> sort of a combination of of movies thrown together. Forty days and nights. You know, we got some biblical stuff going on there. And then finally, some more Sci-Fi Network films. We've got The Seven Adventures of Sinbad, Almighty Thor, and John Carpenter of Mars. Almighty Thor is terrible. Uh, the other two, well, they're okay. Uh, did I say John Carpenter of Mars? I think I did, didn't I? Hmm. <laughs> You know what I was thinking. Oh, sometimes, you know, the mind wanders. But, yeah, that is my complete uh, collection of Blu-rays from the Asylum. Um, it is a decent set, and I'm constantly getting more whenever I can find them cheap. So this tends to grow pretty quickly. Um, because, honestly, I don't want to be spending $20 on these. I don't think they're worth it. But, you know what, if I can get them, you know... $10 is probably about the most I would want to spend on any of these, but I haven't been known to generally try and get them around 6 bucks or less. Um, if I can find them for 5 or less, bonus. But $6, 7 is kind of what I'm looking for. So, yeah, there you go. My Blu-ray collection from The Asylum as of the end of 2015. Let me know if you've seen any or all of these down below. Um, what should I get? What other ones should I get? Because uh, I know there, there's tons of them on DVD. I don't know that they're all on Blu-ray. But, you know, you know where to post. Let me know which ones are worthwhile and which ones aren't. So, thanks for watching. Till next video, take care. Have a good one.